And welcome back to Hannity. So in the wake of the horrific ambush in Dallas, a former Miss Alabama is now facing severe backlash over this video that she posted at Facebook where she called the Dallas shooter a, quote, martyr. Watch this. I'm dealing with a bit of guilt because... Because I don't feel, I don't feel sad for the officers that lost their lives, and I know that that's really not my heart. I value, I value human life, and I want to feel sad for them, but I can't help but feeling like the shooter was a martyr. And I know it's not the right way to feel because nobody deserves to lose their lives. I'm so torn up in my heart about seeing these men, these black men being gunned down in our community. I can't help but feel like I wasn't surprised by what the shooter did to those cops. The fallout from this video has caused widespread outrage, and the former Miss Alabama has now been suspended from her job at a Florida TV station. Joining us now to explain her comments in that viral video is the woman herself, former Miss Alabama, Kaylin Chapman James. Kaylin, you say in that video you value human life, but you don't feel bad for those officers. That you can't value human life and say such a thing. You obviously don't value human life, do you? I do value human life, and that's the reason why I was there in church, really praying and trying to deal with my emotions, because normally if I see any loss of life on TV, whether it's civilians, whether it's officers, whether it's black or you white people, You said you people, don't feel I bad for the officers. There in shock these officers and were gunned down in cold blood things, and murdered. So I do value human life. Well, you, said, but you said you don't feel bad for these officers, and they were gunned down in cold blood. Their families will what never see their loved ones again, and you said you don't feel bad for them. And sadness, and it was really dealing with my emotions that were in progress at that time. And, and I was really conflicted and very sad that I was finding it hard to, to go into my heart, to be true to my values of valuing human life at that time, because I just witnessed such atrocities against Do you feel bad men. for them now? So I Do you feel to, bad for the uh, officers now? It, I absolutely do. In fact, I've had a wife of a Dallas police officer who reached out to me on Facebook with so much compassion, and she said she wasn't mad. She could understand how, as an African American woman, I could feel um, I could feel conflicted. Um, and you know, martyr. I, I, don't, I don't understand is, is, the conflict. What do you define I, a martyr as? You know, a, a, a I don't martyr understand is it. A person who feels like they're dying for a, a cause. It's not my cause. Let me it doesn't ask you mean this. it's a good cause, and it doesn't mean it's a just cause. And I think he told the police that he felt like he was dying for that cause. That's not well, my the cause. Well, the cause was to I kill... Wait, wait a minute. Cop well, let's look at what the cause right, Kalen was. was. Cause. Kalen, the that cause was, was cause. to kill... His cause isn't my cause. He told, so, you he know, told the police... I, now on. I've had a chance to Kaylin, reflect hang on, on a my second. feelings, and I'm really, really... I feel so sad for those officers. I feel sad for their families. I feel sad also for the men uh, who were shot um, that I viewed in the media. I just, you know, I have a big heart, and, and I never want to see that person die. It didn't sound like like a big-hearted person, you called the shooter. You called opinion. the shooter a martyr, a person that is a coward that shot these guys from whatever location uh, in cold blood, except for the one that he shot point blank in the with four bullets in the head. You know, you, you're smiling and you, you're acting like, oh, I, I'm a compassionate person, but that didn't. That sounded like a person that really was happy that people were killed. And I don't know True. why. Maybe is you that, want your job you back. Is that why you're... It? The good thing about this country is that all of us are entitled to their opinion. My ancestors died so that I can express my feelings. And I feel you very can express bad them. for what happened. You can express them. Do you believe the shooters but, are uh, and people And people don't have to accept them. People want to hang on to that word because there are racist people out there who want to use the that shooter word is to a push martyr. their racist I'm asking agenda. you a simple question. Do you believe so the shooter is a I martyr? I honestly am just so sad that those people lost their lives. I don't believe in any cause that takes innocent lives do you believe of what that do cause you is. believe that the shooter is a martyr like you said do you no i do not no not in any way i think the, the shooter was evil i think he killed innocent I people agree. in cold blood he was, he, he and was i think evil. he's like I agree. Uh, he was a terrorist but you called him a martyr why 
Well, you know, a lot of the people, the terrorists, that's how terrorism is born. You know, when you think about people in other countries who believe, and, 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 and religions use this rhetoric to, to, to convince them that going out and killing people is right for their cause. They say, you're going to be a martyr. And I believe that that's what Micah Johnson really thought. But he's not a martyr to, to me. He's not for, he doesn't represent my feelings. He doesn't represent my cause. I would never, ever condone or support anyone who you took say the that, lives you did of innocent it. people, whether they are officers, you did condone it. whether they are civilians. You called them really a martyr. That's condoning it. People should watch the video. All right. People, sh people are looking at go. the headline, but they should really watch the video. Thank you.